I guess one more last dance won't hurt. I whispered into her ear. The music begins to play. Ah, Dance Macabre, our favorite. As the violins come in, she settles in my arms as we spin, spin, and spin. Her red hair cascades down her ivory shoulders and flows around my forearm. As I grasp her back, she moves so elegantly. I bury my face into the nape of her neck and can feel my warm breath emanating back at me. The music begins to pick up and I swing her about. My heart fills with utter joy as the sight of the new dress I bought her hugs her perfectly so and how it would accentuate her features. Her hair is like dull fire and her lips are like red hot iron. The dress flows down her hips like the rolling hills of the old country. The sight is Nirvana. The violins continue to increase in tempo and we are prancing, dancing feverishly. We lock eyes, her deep brown ones staring back into mine, and I get lost in them. They seem so cold and alone. But she is so loved, she must know. The violins come to a dramatic pause and continue in a slow, melancholy way as our little dance follows suit. I pull her in close and I can smell her freshness. Her skin is warm. We sway as the song comes to a close and my heart sinks. We shall be parting ways very soon. I lift her head off my shoulder ever so gently and give her a soft kiss. My hands fall to her breast and she is mine. I can do what I please, but despite all my urges, I resist, for she is a lady, an Aphrodite amongst mere mortals. I am flush and apologize for my animalistic offense, yet she just gazes into my eyes and past my soul wanting more, needing more. Ah, oh, God could not have created a better ending to this perfect date. I pick her up and throw her body back into the freezer and begin to ascend up the basement stairs. <laughs> A smile comes over me as I look back for one final look at the object of my courtship's final resting place. Until tomorrow, my love.